Hello from Hilton Head, South Carolina, where my husband and I are spending the weekend on the beach instead of the motorcycles. Now I'm not interrupting that 4,100 mile, 16 day motorcycle adventure series to bring you a video about the beach. It has been almost one year since my husband bought his Rogue Glide 3 and has gone from two wheels to three. I've asked him how he's doing with that and he's gonna share that with us here in this video. Also, I got to check out some of the new Rogue Glide 3s for 2024. Harley came up with some great colors and I'm gonna share that with you. My husband and I decided to get away for a couple days. We wanted to take the motorcycles on a short adventure, but the weather was not cooperating. Instead, we decided to just spend a relaxing weekend on Hilton Head Island. We stayed at a seaside villa on South Forest Beach. We had no complaints and felt like the condo was comfortable and a perfect place to relax. We especially enjoy coffee on the balcony while taking in the ocean views. It was a little windy and cool, but the walks on the beach were peaceful. I always love watching the waves come ashore, no matter what the weather is like. This weekend, I asked my husband how he is feeling now that it has been almost a year since he went from riding two wheels to three. I sense that he struggles with the decision to give up his two wheels and based on some of the comments I see on some of our videos, I do not think that he is alone in those struggles. If you are trying to decide if going to three wheels is worth it, I hope you find encouragement with what my husband has to say about his experience. Chuck has been riding motorcycles for a little over 50 years. And last year, in 2023, he traded in his two-wheel motorcycle for his Rogue Glide 3. Now, Chuck, remind us why you had to go to three wheels. Due to my past lifestyle, mountain biking for a number of years and injuries from that, and then I had a motorcycle wreck in 2013, left me with more injuries, it took a long recovery, and then I had a mild stroke last year. And um, left me a little bit weak and um, I was afraid to ride in a group with uh, some of the fallout from the stroke and some of that fallout was vision in my right eye so I don't feel like my depth perception is as good anymore so um, I decided that three wheels would probably be safer for me and the club uh, the other thing I had a little bit of problem with was I, I couldn't back my two wheel up anymore. I didn't have the strength in my right leg to do that. And I almost dropped the bike a couple times. So uh, with all that said, I just thought it was time to maybe try to, to go to the three wheels. I didn't want to give up riding. And the only alternative actually was to consider a three wheel. Uh, I, I can do good on a two wheel locally, but if I have to go on a long ride, I just, and, and with the group, I don't feel safe on two wheels. Do you regret going to three wheels? I wouldn't say regret. Uh, I miss being on two wheels. Uh, this year, when Harley came out with some of the new road glides, I was down looking at them. I was like drooling over them and wanting so bad to go back to that. But I know for the best is to stay where I'm at. You and I have talked. And I think we have both heard people say that if you are on three wheels, you're not a biker. What do you tell people if, you, if they tell you that? Well, first of all, people that would say that are very ignorant um, and that I really don't care what other people think. I think that to stay riding to something I love to do, and I've loved it my entire life, and I'm going to do anything I can to stay out in the wind, stay riding with my, my brothers, um, going to events, 
being in the motorcycle world is, is my world. So uh, if three wheels is what it takes, that's what it's going to take. And I would also challenge someone to talk to a member of our club who lost both legs in the war and tell him that because he rides a three-wheeler that he's not a real biker. I would dare anyone to challenge him. What advice would you give someone going from trying to decide to go from two wheels to three wheels? And is it worth it? To me it was worth it because I couldn't even imagine giving up riding yet. And as I said before, that was my best option. And if you're at that point where you don't feel safe riding two wheels or you don't feel safe riding a passenger or you don't feel safe riding in a group in two wheels anymore, uh, I, I would challenge you to go and either rent one or borrow somebody's or you know, talk to people that have a three wheel bike. And I'm glad I did. Last summer, as you know, uh, our son Liam and I, we did a 1200 mile trip up into the mountains of North Carolina and we rode 200 miles of the uh, Blue Ridge Parkway and we had a blast. And I wouldn't, would not want to lose that opportunity to keep doing stuff like that. And this year I plan another trip, you know, on my three wheel. Hopefully we can go together. Right. <laughs> so you're, you're basically saying, and, and I totally agree with that, if it's a choice between not riding and a choice of riding three wheels, look into it and do it. It exactly. is worth it. It is worth it. The RG3 is, uh, was one of the reasons why I decided to go ahead and go to the three wheel because I had a road glide before. I love the road glide. And this gave me the road glide look and a little bit of sassiness with the styling of the, of the bike. And it looks good, feels good to ride plenty of power. You can power out the curves with it, no problem. Thank you, Chuck, for sharing your perspective. We both love riding, and if being on three wheels is what keeps us both out there riding comfortably and safely, then that is what is important. I hope you too are encouraged with his perspective, especially if you are trying to decide if going from two wheels to three is worth it. I have more that I personally could say about riding three wheels, but that will be for another discussion. In fact, I will be incorporating my perspective in a future video. Now, let's go check out the Road Glide 3s available for 2024. Ever since I heard about the new colors available for the Road Glide 3s this year, I have been anxious to get my eyes on them. Low Country Harley Davidson has a 2024 Rogue Life 3, and this is the day that I'm going to check them out. With Melinda visiting this week, she has agreed to come along for the ride. My husband's Rogue Life 3 is getting her 5,000 mile service done, so he borrows our son's Dyna for the ride today. Yep getting his two-wheel therapy in. It is no surprise to me that the Rogue Glide 3 was a great success for Harley in 2023. I say that not only because I absolutely love mine, but I read the comments from many of you and hear your excitement on social media. There is great anticipation when you are waiting for your Road Glide 3s to come in. In addition, many of the staff at the dealerships mentioned to me that they were selling them faster last year than they could get them in, and in fact, could not keep them on the floor. We arrive at Low Country Harley Davidson. We pull in, and there is Gina's CVO. I see some familiar faces. We chat for a while. Then I speak to some from the Christian Bikers Association. They are here today for the blessing of the bikes. They say a prayer blessing my ride for this riding season. We ask you to protect her as she rides, Lord. Keep 
her on the road and keep the cars out of her way, Lord, and just give her a safe ride every day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 I love what you guys do. Melinda has never been to one of these events before. She will be putting together a video which will highlight this event and her experience today. So be watching for that video to come out. We are thrilled to get to see each other again. Gina and I have not seen each other since our 4,100 mile motorcycle trip last fall. What a blessing this is. With her red CVO here, it brings to mind a question I am asked in the comment section of some of our videos. Why I would go from the CVO Tri-Glide to the Road Glide 3. My simplest answer, I love the sporty look and open feel of the Road Glide 3. It is a comfortable ride with three wheel stability and the fixed Road Glide fairing which provides some wind protection and those luxury features I have become so accustomed to having on a motorcycle. That's it. Simple answer. It's not that I did not love the CBO. I absolutely did. It was a great ride, and there are things I really do miss, like the rain protection of the lower fairings, the cargo space, and as my daughter would tell you, the comfortable passenger seat. But these are things I can work around with rain gear or chaps, some good waterproof luggage, and soon the purchase of a new seat. I will be sure to share the seat that I plan to purchase when I get it, which will be before our trip later this year. With another three to 4,000 mile trip planned, it is a must. Now, it's time to go in and check out that Road Glide 3 for 2024. Wow, absolutely magnificent. So glad to finally see it in person. Josh sold my husband and me our Road Glide 3s last year, and he tells me the only changes Harley made to the Road Glide 3s for 2024 were the color options. Good to know this model has the same sleek, sporty look. A fixed frame mounted shark nose fairing with triple split stream vents, compartments for storage, an infotainment system, and a low profile windshield, all adding to the sporty look of this motorcycle. I love the great looking wheels too, 19 inches on the front and 18 inches on the back. All five color choices for this year include a sharp pinstriping on the fairing, the tank, and the fenders. In addition to the shark skin blue with its black trim, the other colors available for 2024 include the vivid black with a choice of chrome or black trim, the red rock with chrome trim, the atlas silver metallic with black trim, and the billiard gray which is the base color this year and has chrome trim. All the colors except for this base color will have an additional cost associated with it. It is difficult to get a true feel for the actual colors of these motorcycles online. You almost have to go in and see them in person to fully decide if you like one of the colors. So if I were buying a new Rogue Light 3, which color would I choose? Originally, after only seeing the colors online, my favorite color was the shark skin blue. And that was the one I was the most anxious to see. But after seeing the colors in person, I changed my mind. I loved the Atlas Silver Metallic on the 2023 Triglide Ultras and the Road Glide Specials. When I visited the Somerville dealership and saw this color on the Road Glide 3, let's just say I was very tempted to make a trade. This is definitely my favorite color for 2024. I love the metallic gray blue look of this color. The blue pinstriping and blacked out finishes, very sharp. I have no intention of trading Miss Livia in, but I was really tempted. Also available at Low Country Harley Davidson is this black 2023 Roguelite 3. 
and a collar that was not available when I was buying mine last year, this sharp gray haze. It is a beauty. Ladies, are you thinking about riding but don't know if getting out on two wheels is for you? This definitely is an option to consider. Easy to ride, stable, and looks great. Speaking of female riders, last year I met Chris who organized the International Female Ride Day event here at Low Country Harley-Davidson. I did a video on that event and will leave it in the cards above here. She introduced me to Eddie, the events coordinator, and tells me they are putting together a great event for the International Female Ride Day to be held this year on May the 4th. It will be an all-day event with live music, food, t-shirts, and of course, a ride for the ladies. Ladies, are you planning to take part in an International Female Ride Day event near you? It will be on May the 4th. If you are, tell me about it and leave that down in the comment section below. Chris introduces me to Mitch, the general manager, and I understand that they may be getting a red rock with vivid black tri-glide in soon. He asked me if I would be interested in taking a look at it and providing a review. My response, absolutely. Hey, I may ride a Road Glide 3, but I have owned two tri-glides and I love any motorcycle with three wheels. Someone asked if I would do a side-by-side -side comparison of the Road Glide 3 and the Tri-Glide. Hmm, that would be a great idea. I hope this video has encouraged those of you who are trying to decide if a three-wheel motorcycle is right for you. There certainly are some great options out there. And if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave any comments that you have down in the comment section below. Until next time, God bless and safe riding out there.